The big story at CES this year is 3D. I'm here with Manuel from TD Vision, and one of the problems with 3D at this point is there's so many different varieties out there that it would give you a headache. What TD Vision has done is enabled not to try and eliminate those varieties, but actually make them all work in harmony. Manuel is going to tell us a little bit more about that. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, well, what we do here is uh, the whole infrastructure for 3D deployment. So three-dimensional content can reach your home or my home. And then if you're ready to be treated with a monitor or any kind of monitor, interleave, checkerboard, field sequential, whatever monitor you have at home will work with our system. So we don't want to fight against uh, the right of the user to be free to decide what they want to do. We give them the freedom of choice. Uh, once the content is delivered to your house via satellite, cable, Blu-ray disc, download, you name it, we can, uh, you can decode this file and see it in your screen at the best native resolution. So we're not cutting any kind of uh, frame rate, color, resolution. The content is as close as possible as originally intended by the Hollywood producer. So for the consumer audience, which is what our audience is, basically they don't have to worry about the encoding part of what you do. They're more interested in being able to get your codec. How do they do that? They will be sure that the, the final Blu-ray disc or the download or the satellite or the cable that they're going to get is going to work in 3D. It's going to work no matter what. Even uh, We cover the whole spectrum from 2D all the way to 3D in a, in a cinema projection. So we have 2D, 2D, 3D anaglyph, 3D high definition, 3D interleave, 3D checkerboard, 3D uh, page sequ sequential, and then simultaneous dual output 3D. Very good. Now, is there anyone at this point that has a disc out there that's utilizing this technology? Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, Magic Play Entertainment is the first company that is going to release 15 titles of Blu-ray discs encoded with our system. Uh, this is a deal that was set in place back in November 2008, and we're going to be releasing these titles in, in a couple of weeks, uh, probably before the end of February or something like that. Uh, this is going to be the first Blu-ray disc 3D that is not anaglyph, uh, the red blue that we know already. Right. Uh, that's going to be the first Blu-ray disc that you can just put, put on any computer and uh, you do that free download. That, that's what I was saying about the, the consumer. We, don't want to make it, we want to make it easy for the user. They just go download a free uh, software application and they are ready to roll. And that software application we're going to put up on the website so that they can go ahead and link to it and get to it right away. And I understand that you're even doing video games. So why don't we go over and take a look what you're doing with an Xbox 360. Excellent. Great. Okay, we've got an Xbox 360 right here that's playing the video game, uh, driving video game. And Manuel, why don't we go ahead and I love those glasses on you. I think I'm going to put mine on now so I can go ahead and see this. Tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here. Sure. What we have here, it's an Xbox game uh, that we created from scratch and it's using our algorithm to render the three-dimensional perspective. It's called the, the TDV virtual camera. Uh, what we do is here, uh, in the video game, it's, it's a normal video game, we, we embedded our intellectual property on it, so now every game cycle, every game loop, it's using our engine to render. What happens now is that uh, as you use the, the, inf the control, the information is being rendered in a natural perspective. We're different from other technologies in the way that we have actually a dynamic convergence calculation. So it's more natural to your eye. It feels like you're actually there. Unfortunately, you don't have a, a camera. Uh, I mean, you don't have a, a three-dimensional camera. You will be soon. Uh, but if, if you were to look at what he's looking at right now, he's actually experiencing the whole three-dimensional uh, immersive experience of 3D in an off-the-shelf Xbox 360. Uh, all you need to do is download our game and have a three-dimensional monitor and you'll be up and running. And I'm sorry, but you do have to learn how to drive, which I'm not doing very well. <laughs> that, that helps. Oh <laughs> that helps a little bit. And um, you can be enjoying now movies and video games with T Division's technology. Um, we have the video games, uh, as you're looking here right now. We have the codec, as we previously mentioned, uh, with uh, glasses like this, expand glasses that are high quality, uh, high end profile for 3D. Uh, you don't get any kind of flicker at all. Uh, you get an immersive experience. They are, as you can see, they're really clean and sleek and nice. You can get them from expand. 
and um, all the information here presented is available off the shelf. What else are we going to see today? We're going to show you now the same content in a Hyundai Line interleaved and in a dual projector. So we're covering all the spectrum of displays from 2D, plain 2D, high definition, all the way to three-dimensional in a projector so we can drive a cinema in 3D with our wow. system. Okay, we're looking at a dual projector system, and this projector system has been aligned using display, scalable display technology system. Tell me a little bit more about that, and, I, and we've got a, somebody here from Scalable Display that's going to give us some more information as well. Right. Well, the, what we have here is uh, we're driving two projectors with our system to show that we can drive a, even, a, even a cinema uh, a scenario. And uh, these projectors are being dynamically aligned uh, with the company Scalable Display Technologies. Uh, we're a software manufacturer and we've developed a system that allows multiple projectors to be overlaid perfectly. It's a camera feedback system where software projects alignment patterns on the screen, the patterns are photographed and then analyzed, and corrective meshes are applied to the video stream so that pixels overlay. We can any number of projectors on any surface. In this application, two projectors are being used, a discrete left eye, a discrete right eye. They're being blended on screen for the first time. The alignment of the two projectors is via software. The, the, the message here is that the technology is ready. Right. You know, the technology is available at every single level of the whole 3D ecosystem. Okay, what are we looking at this time? Okay, uh, what we have here is very interesting. This is a very small form factor PC. It's a Dell Hybrid Studio PC, uh, where we have uh, loaded our software, the Deja View, uh, and the playback system with the TDV codec. It's driving a three-dimensional Hyundai television. As you can see the information here uh, and, the, and the image, it's really clear, it's really nice, it's beautiful, yeah, right? And um, you, can, you can enjoy this at the, you know, the comfort of your house, of your living room. You can just go buy one of these, as I said, download the software, you're ready, up and running. You don't need any additional hardware, costly hardware, hassle with the connections, with the versions, with the releases, nothing. It's ready. I mean, we have it.